Bless, bless. Happy to be a Seahawk, ready to get to Seattle, get to work, plain and simple. How do you feel playing for Pete Carroll? Awesome. I've been watching, you know, Coach Pete Carroll for a long time, you know, as long as I can remember watching ball. So, you know, legendary coach. I'm happy to and ready to get started. Jack, is there anyone you're really great wide receiver for? Guys like DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett. What's it mean to you to be uh, in the locker room with those guys and learn from them? Oh, man, it's an honor. You know, I, I've, you know, come from, a, you know, a great – um, school with, that has a great receiving room, and you know that only pushes me to go harder. And um, to, to I'm excited to learn from those guys, and you know hopefully bring you know my style and you know get some wins. Stroud in the building, and we asked him. This is unfortunately while you were following, we were like, can you tell the tax to the Texans to go get your man? And he said he cut off his left leg to have you oh on the team. God. How's that make? He said that. That's love, man. That's love. <laughs> <laughs> what does it mean to be a Seattle Seahawk to you? Uh, it means everything. Um, you know, sitting down with uh, the coaches when they came to my pro day and just learning about their culture and, you know, what they stand for. You know, s same thing, you know, hard, gritty, you know, about the work and, you know, about action. So, you know, I'm all in. I'm all in with this team and ready to get started, man. Happy to be a Seahawk. You heard all these different names mentioned to be the first receiver taken in the draft, but it was actually you. Uh, what's your thoughts and feelings on that? Uh, I'm happy, you know. Um, you know, I know God always has, you know, a plan for me. So, you know, wasn't stressing about that. Just really wanted to end up in a good spot, no matter if I was the first or second or, you know, whatever uh, receiver off the board. Just wanted to land in a good spot, uh, good spot first and foremost. Jackson, how do you think your game complements Lockett and, and DK over there in Seattle? Oh, I mean, you know, those guys on the outside running, you know, and, um, you know, I think I think it'll be a good fit, you know, just having three dangerous weapons, you know, for Gino. I mean, um, it's going to be awesome. I'm ready to get in the offense. It's electric, and I'm a, uh, an electric player. So, you know, excited to get to work. What are you going to take from your days in Ohio State to Seattle? Oh, man, I mean, I feel like we have, like, a pro receiver room already, especially under Brian Hardline, Coach Hardline. Um, just going to take everything, uh, you know, you know, that I learned and, and bring it to the next level. You know, uh, the development at Ohio State is second to none. So I, I appreciate, you know, my time there. Jackson, the West Coast, they didn't know who you were until the Rose Bowl. Um, what are what else do people need to know about Jackson Smith and Jigba, the man? You don't need to know. You just need to, you know, watch and, and, and you'll learn. Yeah. Now Jackson, who you or which uh, players would you say you model your game after? Um, I, you know, I watch a lot of film. I'm a student of the game. Uh, I don't really model my game after anyone, but uh, definitely take a few things from, you know, uh, some people. Jackson, what do you think about playing for uh, Pete Carroll? I think it's awesome. You know, like I said, you know, been watching him. Know he's a legendary coach. Um, you know, happy to, you know, pick his brain and, you know, be around be around the whole team and especially Coach uh, Carroll. What advice did Garrett and Chris give you? Yeah, I mean, you know, coming in the NFL, you know, routine, you know, they, they were high on their routine and uh, just being present, enjoying the process. Um, you know, they tell me just be myself and um, keep a straight head and, you know, good things will happen. Jackson, what would you say is your biggest fear or insecurity, if you have any, and how do you deal with those feelings when they arrive on the field? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm I'm about work and, and putting the work in the off season. I think my overall game can improve, and uh, and and I think it will. I mean, the ceiling. You know, there's no ceiling. Um, you know, as far as I know. You know, I just like putting the work and you know trying to improve my uh, overall game. Jeff, yeah, just Jack, for you, what was the biggest challenge about your injury and getting through that? And what is maybe the biggest lesson? You took? Yeah, biggest challenge is just, you know, not playing. You know, it's my first time not being able to, missing games, missing practice, and, you know, not really being there, you know, for my guys. But, you know, I learned a lot. You know, I learned a lot, and, you know, I, I thank God for, you know, him giving me the opportunity because, you know, I'm just coming in, you know, hungry as ever, you know, ready to go on the field and line it up. So um, I, I actually appreciate it, and, and I'm blessed to still be in this position. And, you know, that's what I took away from it. Jackson, to see the success that Chris and Garrett had last year, how much confidence does that give you that you can go in and make an immediate impact yourself? Oh, much confidence, much confidence. You know, those guys are great players, and, you know, um, seeing what they do is awesome, and, you know, I have a ton of respect for them. Um, 
but yeah, you know, them being in my ear, giving me advice, you know, just gives me all the confidence in the world to, you know, compete and and know that, you know, I belong in the league and, you know, I can dominate. Jackson, what part of your game or about you doesn't get talked about enough? Uh, I would say my athletic ability, honestly. Um, you know, I, I do read defense and make defense pay, you know, a lot of options to browse, but, you know, I, I can make, you know, I can get jiggy out there. <laughs> Last question. Jackson, Jackson. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Lockett is uh, in the slot kind of like where you are. You play primarily at Ohio State. And I, I know you already mentioned how you're going to play with Metcalf and Lockett, but can you are you willing to play like, on the outside, get outside, and dominate? Oh, yeah, 100%, man. I'm a receiver, you know. Uh, you know, having that label on me uh, of a slot guy, you know, it's not who I am. I'm a receiver who can line up in all positions. And, you know, I think you'll see that. Um, you know, if that's in a slot, that's okay. You know, if that's outside, that's cool too. You know, I don't matter. I just want to help the team, you know, win. And, and if that's lining up in the backfield or doing anything I have to do, you know, I'll do it. Appreciate y'all.